just going to twist up, not for the easy side of the swing, but the opposite side. So right, so right hand is going to reach for the left side of the swing. Yeah. Reach up as high as you can. And again, let's just stretch out the neck. So drop the head tilt down towards the ground. Mmm, really good. Let it feel good. I'm gonna roll the head back and forth a little bit. Beautiful. Slowly switch sides. Pause in the center. Just drop. Lengthen through the lower back. Place the right hand in the middle and then reach up. Left hand reaches for the right side of the swing. As high as you can. So reach up even higher. Well, there you go. And now twist. So twist and drop your head. Stretch up the neck. Stroll around a little bit. Nice. Should feel really good. So we'll do this on the second side as well. I'm just going to lift my legs and float here. I can actually let my hand come off the ground as well. So this is another nice floating twist that you can do. All right, in order to get to the second side, I'm gonna pull myself all the way around and land it. So when I get to the second side, reach for the furthest point of the swing. Let your hand go. Nice. So when we're rolling around, we're going across the top of the glutes and then we'll wind up right in the hip, hip flexors again. Okay, one more time, just pull yourself, roll all the way around. Notice where the pivot point is in the hip flexor, and then notice the top leg can have a little bit more freedom, but you have to keep an anchor point in order to feel secure in the swing. So what is the trick for people who feel like they're just stuck in it, you know? Um, um, not like so reach for the opposite side, yeah. and then just kind of, oh, twist, and then, oh, okay. yeah, just get a little bit of momentum going. And then mm -hmm. here is it on above my bum? Yep, yeah. and then twist again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. And just kind of do a little up. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> let's just call it the up. Really good. Okay, so let's land back into our wide shuttle. Take a pause. We're going to incorporate the nine seated hand holds. So at first, all I want to do is reach up, grab the hand holds. Bring my feet hip distance, lean forward. Okay, so from here, let's swim. So we were doing this a little bit yesterday where we're just getting full range of motion in the shoulders. So bring the arms all the way up, keep them straight the whole time. Kind of press the chest forward. Exhale, swim back down. Beautiful. Inhaling up. Yep, so we're on a peppermint patty diet at all. Swing will try to slide up. We'll just press our hips down towards the ground and keep it in place. And now we're going to bend our elbows and just do tiny little push-ups. Just press the chest. Lift the chest. Don't leave with the head down. Leave with the head up. Press and lift the chest. Right? So this movement comes in really handy when we do the chaturangas in Superfly. So now we're just going to hook at the elbows and hang. Get a nice shoulder stretch. Twist from side to side a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it helps when that leg loops are a little higher for these ones. So I remember what's good. But some people you'll see them pointing down towards the ground too much and then we can just raise the leg loops. Let's hook the right leg outside in, left leg outside in. So this looks like which pose? Which pose did we do yesterday that looks like this? Well, it's more like Archer. 
Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're repeating a part of the sequences we did yesterday. We're gonna squeeze the leg loops onto our shoulders and come into backpack. So in backpack, once we get them into a good spot, then we can open up our arms with the skydiver. Right? Just kind of, if you ever want to get them into a good spot, squeeze your hands together overhead and just wiggle, and then when you open, it should be okay. Yeah, good. Awesome. I also kind of like press into the leg loops to keep them in place, if that makes sense. Cool. So from here, so similar to what we did in Superfly, we're going to grab for our backpack. I grab them over my head this time and then slide my arms down. Elbows are pointing up towards the sky, and then I press into my push-up. So we're doing chaturangas here. These are really challenging push-ups. Let's see if you can do five of them. Okay, so arch and open. So make sure you have that back bend, so you're stretching out your quads at the same time. There you go, good one, huh? Land and back back. Really good, okay. So we're going to go from skydiver into our shoulder stand, like we did before, okay? When we do our shoulder stand, we're going to keep our legs as they are, knees bent, feet hooked. Hands down towards the ground, tuck, okay? So we're rolling up into a little ball. So see if you can come straight up and down, okay? Now if you want to try keeping your legs back behind you, you're going to come into a supported back bend. Let's see if you can bring your legs over your head. Okay? Once your legs are back behind you, you can bend the knees and grab the other feet. So you have to pointing your feet towards your toes and be back behind you. So you hold your legs and come back and over your head. Bend your knees and keep them bent. Then your legs get your swing back up and you lost your anchor. Okay. So this is the one when we go over acrobatics that most people get stuck in, okay? So, knees have to be bent the whole time, and if you watch me, don't raise your feet up. As soon as you do, your feet have to stay down towards the mat. As soon as you're up towards the sky, you're going to lose your anchor. Mm -hmm. Okay, just watch. I bend my knees, I keep my legs back hmm. behind me. Okay? Not up towards the sky. <laughs> behind me. And it will also block your shoulders. <laughs> what if you do it correctly? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Good job. 
of ladies. Okay. So, um, when we, so you guys have all really gotten down the basics, but when we're here on the ground, I'm just going to read me one more time. To get the leg loops onto the shoulders, we have to be able to squeeze. Now, typically when I do this um, in the workshop, there's always at least someone who can't get that motion of squeezing and lifting their chest. They don't think that they have enough strength. It's really not strength, it's just, it's pivot point, right? You lift your chest, squeeze your arms together, and leg loops will come up. So we do this one first, right, to open up the shoulders. Okay, we swim. Then we do our little push-ups so they know they have enough strength. If they can do this, they can do the rest. Just lift the chest. Keep the head up the whole time, lift the chest. And then onto the elbow creases, squeeze. Lift the chest and squeeze. Okay, squeeze. Awesome. So in order to get into the leg hooks, we have to come back into elbows. Lean forward a lot. This is where people are going to get stuck and have to stay arched. If you curl in, you're not going to be able to hook. Now from here, we lift our chest and we squeeze. We squeeze and we bring our hands down to this ground. Okay, can help them out a little bit. Okay. Now from here, we're going to go right into, do you guys want to do the chaturangas again? Or are you good? We're good. Okay. Chaturanga, chaturanga. Well, you know, we have to really press up so we get that big arch that's happening. Five or ten of those. Let's practice, let's just stay and practice um, the back bend. So our feet have to stay low the whole time. That's the, tr that's the trick, is keep the knees bent, tuck and roll into a ball. So I'm here, and then I bring my feet back behind me, and arms overhead. Yes. Keep, keep the body back, keep tucking at the arch to open. Good. Now bring your arms from overhead, Bring them to the sides and then behind you. Sides. I, I have them in the mirror world. My brain is like shot in So bring your arms out to the sides. Yes. And now back behind you. Yes. That's it. Just to bring them to the wall, thinking I can all drop them. You got it.